What's happening? We are the Dirty Heads, and we're here in Orlando at the House of Blues, and we are going to answer some fan questions. So I stand tall, it gets a little better. I see the wall that we can break down together. Stand strong, it gets a little better now. We can break it down, we can break it. Stand tall, it gets a little better. I see the wall that we can break down together. No, but we partied with Matthew McConaughey, and that was about just as good. We were on a on tour with uh, uh well, what's his name? Mishka. 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 He's awesome. We we toured with him. He's on Matthew McConaughey's label, and uh, he took us out one night and got and super cool guy, super normal, drinking beers with us, got super wasted. And I was like, hey, I loved you in that movie Rain of Fire, you know, the dragon movie. That's like my favorite movie ever done. And then he gets in the character of Van Zant, and I was like, if I wanted, if I was gonna get beat up by one dude, I'd get beat up by Van Zant. Like, well, and he got boom right into character, double leg tackled me onto the ground and started wrestling with me. Matthew McConaughey, shout out to him. He's a boy. He's rad. He's one of the coolest coolest celebrities we've ever met. <laughs> Fuck Charlie Sheen. John John and him had a naked push-up Congo bongo uh, collaboration afterwards. They were doing push-ups while playing Congos and bongos on each other's backs, naked. That's right. No one's gonna bring me down and stand up strong and hold my ground. Tell me what are we fighting for? He would love to. He would absolutely love to. Is it... Well, yeah, that's fine because I haven't lost lost mine yet, so she can take mine. I can take hers as well. Is it or is there? <laughs> which? <laughs> How do you fucking answer that? Oh, I would love to steal your hymen, Annie. Only anal though. <laughs> I'm Mormon. Yeah, the anal hymen. The behind. Oh no! Why would you say that? Um, is there an age on that? Yeah, <laughs> no. fucking no. God! She's 12. Yeah. Great. Alright, um, the next one's from my... Hold on, hold on. Can I say something? No, I will not. You should find somebody very special, <laughs> light some candles, go out to dinner, take it easy. Take it easy. It'll only last like two seconds. Probably won't hurt. You know what? Plan on that. I don't, I don't know. know if I'd. You know what? I don't even know if I'd cut my hair if I was going. If I went bald, because I might want to be like the rad old dude that's just holding on to what he has, and he's totally bald on top, and but only has hair on the sides, but he still pulls it back into a ponytail. That's some new shit right there. So no. Jordan Grizzly Gambino. If that's real, I want to be your wow. friend because that guy's a badass or a porn star. He wrestles bears. He re yeah, he's an Italian bear wrestler for a circus. Yeah. Jordan Grizzly Gambino wrestles big fucking bears with the little uh, hats, the little tiny uh, hat, rides a scooter. You'll probably be seeing an album, if not late this year, early next year. Maybe a summer EP. And maybe a summer EP. That's what we'd like to do. So. Oh, oh yeah, that's a really good question. I didn't think that Antelope was gonna, I thought it was just kinda, it's a really old song. It's like one of the first songs we ever wrote. So I thought it was just gonna kinda be, you know, back on the Dirty Demo days. I didn't think a lot of people would gravitate towards, like it's a really popular song. And then um, we were writing the song Neighborhood. And I loved the, that line, uh, well I just got out the water and I'm late for school. Like I loved that because, and then so I, I, I took that from Antelope and I used that for the first line of Neighborhood. Cause I didn't think we were ever gonna release Neighborhood like on an album, on, on whatever albums we had. So I was like, oh, nobody will know about that song. So I kind of stole a line from it, put it into Neighborhood. And then, and the, so that's why. Cause I use it in Neighborhood instead of uh, Antelope now. But. I mean, if people want it back, I'll, I'll sing it twice if nobody minds. No more running from town to town. And now that we've arrived so safely, baby, you can lay me down. Dude, I would, I would, I have, would have sex, sex with, with I'm Fox. already a fan of Leonard Nimoy, and I think Megan Fox's body's hot. I think her face is bitchy looking. So it's the win. I don't like her head anyway. Put a bag over it. Or put a bag with Leonard, a picture of Leonard Nimoy on it. Yeah. Or just have Leonard Nimoy's head on it. 
You could have a conversation with Leonard Nimoy whilst banging. I would have him read me a book. Yeah. Isn't that what he does? Like a sexy book. Oh, yes. While banging her body. <laughs> what kind of question is that? Easy. Number one. <laughs> wants to fucking roof a house. Roof the house? That's Jesus, it's horrible. He's brown, he's handsome, he's tall, and he plays uh, the shit out of some bongos. And now that we arrived so safely, baby, you can lay. I don't want to be Wolverine because all the other superheroes have super really really cool things they can do and he just like has these claws that come out of his hand. Oh no, but he has an adamantium uh, skeleton and he can't die. Well, you can shoot really him cool. in the face, the bullet comes out and he heals with him. Like, all right, that's so you gotta, cool. I'm a geek, obviously. But I want to <laughs> be comment. someone who could like shoot lasers out of their eyes. Superman then. Oh, but you'd want to be him. You wouldn't want to be Wolverine. I don't. Like yeah, oh, you know who I wouldn't want to be? Anything that can shoot lasers, I want to be. You know who I wouldn't want to be? That sand guy from Spider-Man. That's just a bummer. You're just a big sand guy. <laughs> you know, like you get you go to the beach and get sand in your trunks and you're bummed. You know, you go home and you get, you're like, oh, I didn't get it all after I went surfing. I have sand. You have sex on the beach with a girl. You give her the angry churro. It's not good. <laughs> That guy's constantly giving people angry churros. Just churros. He can't not be an angry churro. He's yeah. a big sand, he's annoying. Every part yes. about him is annoying. That's who I would not <laughs> I guess he's a villain, but still, that would suck. You are having sex with a girl on the beach, pull out, dip in the sand, Jam it back in. I will take what's her name's virginity as long as I can give her an angry churro. And that's the first thing. Whoa. Just so she never has sex again. That's for you, Annie. No, sorry, Annie. I would. It's, it's, I have a girlfriend that I dearly love, and I hope that you find a nice boy. And I hope it's a magical night. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Rome uh, used to come in and beg us to hang out with us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, he he just uh, he was our friend. He came in the studio. We worked in the same studio, and uh, he came in, and he was uh, kind of played the same type of music as, as us, and we you know became friends over the years, and um, we wrote "Lay Me Down" before "Sublime with Rome" even uh, was talked about, and then right after "Lay Me Down," we, we were done with that. Then he met the Sublime guys, or he had known the Sublime guys for a while, but then they started talking about getting together. Um, so yeah, he's, he's been a friend of ours for a long time before uh, all this wonderful stuff happened for him. What's up, Rome?